And the nice warm temps may be a bonus for some, but it's forced at least two area ski resorts to keep their closed signs up longer this year, which also means a cut in business. News 13's Amanda Goodman is in the Newsplex with the details. Crystal, with no measurable snowfall in a while, Ski Santa Fe had no choice but to delay the opening. It is a sign many people were hoping would come down this week. We always try and open on Thanksgiving. But the closed sign at Ski Santa Fe will stay put through the holiday this year, much to the dismay of would-be Turkey Day skiers and snowboarders. I'm a little bummed about it being late this year. Mountain manager Ben Abruzzo says conditions looked good early in the season, but now there's just not enough snow on the ground to make the Thanksgiving opening day happen. We did have a really good early snowfall of eight inches. Um, and then it went dry for a few weeks and that happens and hopefully we just keep getting more. It can change pretty quick. In the meantime, Abruzzo says they have 18 snowmaking guns stationed on three different trails. They're running them almost every night to build up a good base while they wait for Mother Nature. We're just going to take it weekend by weekend. Um, if it snows, uh, we'll open within 48 hours um, and snow meaning a good uh, measurable snowfall. Even though the conditions are not great and the mountain isn't open to the public yet, News 13 found these guys making the most out of the snow Ski Santa Fe does have. We came up pre-season, like a week before it starts, just to set up some rails we have up there, shred before they open up the park. It's a quick fix to hold them over until the ski area opens for the season, a day they hope comes sooner rather than later. I want to see this open like as soon as possible. Now, as Abruzzo mentioned, if they do get a good amount of snow, they can open the mountain within 48 hours. But at this point, there is no scheduled opening date. This is the fourth year in a row they've had to push back the opening. Sandia ski area is set to open on December 14th. Crystal. All right, thanks, Amanda. Now, Bruzo says opening a few days late should not affect revenue too much, and he's optimistic for a good season. But that business, of course, goes elsewhere, like Sipapu. The only ski area in the state that is open right now is Sipapu. They opened yesterday and saw, they say they saw more lifts and more guests than ever before on an opening day in resort history.